and the late Middle Ages saw the decline of the monastic discipline and order to a great extent. Revival came through the general reforms of the Benedictine order introduced during the Council of Constance in 1414. But then came the time of Martin Luther, and by the end of the 16th century, only three monks and three priests remained in Melk, and of a dubious qualification besides. In 1683, another fire destroyed the church tower. In attempts to save it, because of the lack of water, even wine from the cellars was used to fight the flames. Assistance came from the Benedictine Abbey of Tegernsee, and with their help, Melk quickly recovered. A substantial rebuilding program was introduced, and in 1746, the Abbey, in its present appearance, was inaugurated. The southern facade is 360 meters long. The cupola is 62 meters high. It seems, with these dimensions, the builders and the architects wanted to challenge St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. The entire planning followed a strictly theological line. The Abbey Library can be called, without exaggeration, a spiritual well, and one of the richest imaginable. It contains over 100,000 volumes, among which are precious old manuscripts, some written by the first monks of Melk. 